today I'm going to walk through setting up some software I use so that I can use my Wii controllers with my uh, PC. Uh, they actually recognize as Xbox 360 controllers, which is pretty handy. And there's a couple other programs that provide other options for software that doesn't recognize Xbox 360 controllers. So, we're going to start with this one. This is the one that I primarily use. Uh, it's called WinUsoft. It says WinU Pro up here. That's the new version that's developed. It's still in beta. And I looked at it, and it's still pretty rudimentary, so I wouldn't mess with it. Uh, you're just going to come here to WinU Pro. Click on Downloads. Scroll all the way here to the bottom. And download when you saw 2.1. One thing to keep in mind with this is that it requires using a Bluetooth stack. Uh, it should work with most Bluetooth adapters, but if it's not a Toshiba Bluetooth adapter, then you're going to have to download the stack, which is available here at Toshiba's site. To the Bluetooth section, scroll down and look for stack for Windows by Toshiba. Now, if you're not using hardware that's supposed to use the Bluetooth stack, you'll get a uh, alert saying it's only going to work for 30 days because it's just meant for developers to test. To get around that, you will need to download this TOS BT check file from here and put that in the directory with the Bluetooth stack. Uh, there's a readme in there that tells you exactly where, to, where it needs to go. My Bluetooth adapter, however, luckily, uses Toshiba Bluetooth stacks, so I don't have to worry about that. Also, if you're on Windows 7, you'll need to download the Xbox 360 drivers. Otherwise, the controller won't work. I'm on Windows 10, so, again, I don't have to worry about that. So I won't be going through those two. If you're looking into messing with this, I'm going to assume that you know how to install drivers. But once you get the WinUsoft downloaded, open up the folder. And there is no installation. It just runs right out of the folder that it's in. So you can just copy this and put it wherever you want. I suggest the root of your C drive just because it's an easy place to get to and it's guaranteed to work from there. There is one thing you have to do. You have to go to this SCP driver folder, open that up, and hit scpdriver.exe. Allow that, of course. Now, you just need the configuration service. You don't need the Bluetooth driver. So uncheck that and hit install and it'll install, it's pretty quick, hit exit and the software is ready to go first though you will need to add your controller um, your interface might look different since you're not using the exact same software I am but should be the same basic process express mode because it's just a controller, there's no pin or anything that you gotta mess with. Hit next. Get your controller going in discoverable mode. Hit next again. Boom, it's connected. Now you can switch back over to here. Hit refresh. Oh look, there's your controller. Hit this. And it is now an Xbox 360 controller. Yay! Uh, cool things you can do. You can make it vibrate. Just to make sure that that's the one that you want to use. Uh, there's some properties here. You can have it automatically connect as controller 1. You can have it automatically load a custom profile. Which you would configure that here. It shows you all the button mappings. Default's pretty standard. 
since they all both have the exact same button configuration. So this maps, you know, the Y button on the Xbox 360 controller to the Y button in the Wii controller. Position's different, but they went with matching the lettering rather than matching the position. If you're fine with that, you can leave it as it is, or simply go blip, and blip, and blip, 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 blip. Now they're all remapped, and you can save it, and you can set that to be the default profile to load, or you can just leave it on default. And that is how you set up and use WinUsoft to connect a Wii U Pro Controller as a 360 controller. Now the cool thing is, this works with literally any Wii controller. You can use it on a Wii Wiimote too. Let it connect up here. Next. Connected. Refresh again. Now my Wiimote is a Bluetooth controller, or is a 360 controller. And it will even let you map the pitch and roll and shake functions of the controller, as well as acknowledging the peripheral soundtrack. And I'll add the stuff in. You can add, plug in a classic controller, and it will let you configure that. And yeah, pretty basic, simple, easy stuff. And I'm going to let you that connected because I'll probably play a game in a little bit. Disconnect this one though. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like, subscribe, like you button. And if you want to see more, subscribe to know when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.